hello welcome back to my channel lumsy sews in today's sewing tutorial i'll be sharing with you guys how to sew illusion neckline to sew it a bit this clean and also i'm going to share with you how to make button loops and customize buttons for your mesh illusion fabric if that's what you want to learn continue watching till the end to see how i made this I'm going to share with you sewing tips and tricks on how to use your illusion mesh fabric to make customize all these things. So continue watching till the end like I said to see how I made this. If this is your first time coming across my channel, consider being part of my community by subscribing and turning on the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my sewing tutorials. I'd like to use this opportunity to thank all my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing and turning on the notification bell icon. I appreciate a whole lot. Now guys, let's go into today's sewing tutorial. This is the back yoke that we are going to be adding the loops and button on. So first of all, I'm going to sew the neckline. As you can see, I I'm using two fabrics. I use two mesh fabrics for the yoke. So I'm going to sew the neckline first. So just go ahead and sew out how many inches you have added for your sewing allowance. I added half inch on mine and so that's what I'm going to go ahead and sew out. Take your time and sew this as illusion mesh fabrics are very very delicate. As you can see so i'm just taking it easy so that i don't stretch the fabric or stress it out so i'm going to make a notch i'm going to notch where the neckline where i have sewn and make sure i don't cut my thread but i'm going to sew it cut it notch it very close to the thread so once i was done cut uh, notching it i'm going to trim it down we trim it down very well this will make the neckline to sit properly on the neckline and it will help the illusion mesh fabric to relax very well so we are not going to top stitch this i noticed some people top stitch it is going to make it to it will make it to be untidy so it's better you just trim it down like this that way you have a very clean finishing can you see how neat it is so I'll just go ahead and do this same thing on the um, the place we cut out this piece that we cut out this side Many times that I miss you I know how to call when I want to Now you got way bigger issues So you can see I'm done sewing the both sides of the yoke Can you guys see how neat it is? Yeah, I like this method as it comes out very very neat So that's my sewing tip one <laughs> so guys i'll go ahead and prepare can you see how neat it is very very neat i'll go ahead to prepare for the button loops first of all i'm going to make the button stand so i have my fabric one and a half inches and i'm going to fold it into two like this and sew it next i'm going to place it on where i want the button will be just watch what i'm going to do just to take the measurement of that place and i'm going to sew away and close that place actually you can decide not to sew this but i like to have 
my clothes very neat that's why i usually do this else you can as well not sew it so after sewing it i'm going to cut out cut off the sx fabric that i have the sewing allowance i have inside so that i have a very clean finished bias next i'll go ahead and turn this over and then i'm going to fold it into two so by the time i fold it into two it will now be four pieces making my my button stand to be strong enough so i'm going to place this on this place and sew it just sew off half inch or quarter inch depending on your preference I'll go ahead and turn it over like that and top stitch it, under stitch it rather. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say, or oh, I used to also call this top stitching, but it's actually under stitching because you're sewing under, see, stitching the under, <laughs> you're stitching the under rather, so it's called under stitching now with this my bottom stand is ready as you can see how neat it is and having the same illusion uh, effect on the neckline so guys i'll go ahead and bring the other side so this is the side that was for the bottom and this is the side that is for the bottom loops i've already prepared it like we did in the first one so I'm going to introduce the button loops because the store bots start button loops and I'm going to place it like this. I will do the same thing I did. The only thing is that I have sandwiched this um, button loops to the illusion the mesh fabric. So I'm going to again but this time around I'm going to pin it down because I have something that I want to sandwich i don't want a situation whereby i'm sewing and it will unravel so i'll just go ahead and pin it down once i'm done pinning it down i'll go ahead and sew it down so you're going to sew it after pinning it Take your time make sure you don't sew on the pins i don't like sewing on my pins i see people doing it but i can't even try that so after sewing this i'm going to again under stitch it so can you guys the bottom loops are looking very neat so i went ahead and under stitched the the bias that we added there so this is the button loops and the button stand i'll go ahead to make customized buttons for this so guys can you see how i'm using the illusion mesh fabric to make the button the buttons the cover buttons i'm going to sew them on to the button stand but guys i'll share with you some one trick that i use so have you seen this I have sewn my buttons but guys you will notice that i have jumped some of the loops can you notice this i put one button and uh, jump it and i jump the loops so can you see guys because the loops are too close so i'm going to go ahead and cut the button the loops i'll cut off the loops so i don't have um that because it's very very tiny so can you guys see what i'm doing just trimming off the button loops basically i just sew on one space jump over and sew on another one 
so guys i hope you learned something new today if you did do give me a thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section and remember guys if you have any sewing pattern you will want me to make go ahead and let me know in the comment section or you can reach me on my whatsapp on my about page and i will also drop it in the description section can you see how neat this is looking remember i'm a pattern maker so just bring along your patterns that you want me to make for your ready to wear or for your personal use guys i'll see you guys in my next video bye